weeks, students with interest in engineering, science, math, and aviation came together from all over the state of Texas for the culmination of seven months of hard work for the Texas High School Aerospace Scholars Program. Mentors from NASA and the STEM industries guided us in our projects focusing on crew assignments, laboratories and tools, and spacesuit redesign for a thousand day mission to Mars. This week gave us hands-on experiences that will enable us to carry on the legacy of deep space exploration that our generation has now been handed. We didn't know exactly what needed to be fixed on the coolant system. We designed a 3D printable multi-purpose tool. The tool was modeled off of a triangular three-tip highlighter with three different tools. The trident includes three tools, a crowbar type tool, a sharp ice pick tool, as well as a cutting edge. And I modeled these three tools on a triangular truss using Google SketchUp. Norm Chaffee, a rocket scientist that contributed to Saturn V, taught us on the transportation, computer systems, sensors, on the dynamics and mechanics used on the vehicle. Uh, this is the side now of the first stage called the S1C. It was built by Boeing. It is an expendable stage, meaning we use it and then it falls back into the ocean and breaks off. So Chaffee explained how they use pyrotechnics to change from one cycle to the other of the Saturn V. He explained the overall process starting in the launching pad to once the module arrived. Visiting the ISS Mission Control was an inspiring experience as well as an honor for our team. This visit was eye-opening because it demonstrated how far we have come by uniting with other nations. I think I can speak for the entire blue team when I say that listening to Milt Heflin speak on Apollo night was one of the most inspiring memories we had at Haas. The story of Apollo 12 was truly a testament to the importance of being prepared to be the generation that will take space exploration to the next level. Great that we're going today in human space flight, you know, one of these days we may indeed have what we need to send humans to Mars, for example, and there's a good chance that if we do that, that you all, your age group, you'll be right on top of it. You'll be doing it. The Gray team was in charge of setting the budget and purpose of the Mars mission. The red team was responsible for designing a method to reach Mars and return back to Earth. The white team was delegated the task of deciding how the crew would survive on Mars. And finally, the blue team set the mission objectives and compiled the list of the materials needed for the mission. The lunch with NASA employees gave all of us at Haas the opportunity to further understand life at NASA. For me, it allowed for greater illustration of internships and co-ops available after Haas. We were given the task to make a Mindstorms rover as efficiently as possible to um, play in a 4x4 field and pick up rocks and water samples. We tried to make our rover very efficient in design and very reliable in programming. It was an incredible experience to act as an engineer and see our ideas and planning come to life through our rover. The rover was one of my favorite projects and it allowed us all the chance to see our innovations and how they actually work. Our mentor this week, Dr. Rick Schering, is a flight surgeon. His expertise on space health issues helped us design our spacesuits.